Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all doing fabulously. And we're talking about Urban Decay today. They kindly gifted me some products uh, for me to test out. And I thought I'd do a really, really quick, simple and easy application um, of whatever I've got here and then I'll top it up with my own um, blush um, later. Or maybe I'll even use the lipstick as a blusher. These are the products that were sent to me. Let's go through them uh, a little bit. So you've got the All Nighter Ultra Matte Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. There's a few different setting sprays that they do, um, but this is for if you want that ultra matte finish. For me personally, I like a glowy finish that I would use their setting spray that isn't ultra matte. Then we have various different foundations here we've got the weightless liquid foundation which lasts on the skin for up to 24 hours uh, we have this one here which is a stay naked hydromaniac tinted glow hydration which is what i'm going to show you today which i'm very excited about probably isn't my exact color match but it doesn't matter for the sake of showing you the um foundation two concealers which is the stay naked uh, correcting concealer again staying put for up to 24 hours I'm always on a hunt for new concealers guys like I have a love-hate relationship with concealers all time like I may like it today and then I may decide I don't like it a few weeks later and that's just because your skin completely changes as the day goes on um, you've got the vice high impact vegan lipstick and what I love about Urban Decay as well a it's cruelty free and B I think I think they are almost, almost completely, like, I think a lot of their products, I think they want to go vegan. So, um, if you go on the website, you'll see that, you know, the mascara that's vegan, there's a new vitamin C setting spray that's just come out that's vegan, and that's sort of like the way that they are, they are going, so I love it. And then the 24 hour glide on pencils, which I use in my kit all the time on my wedding work, and they've sent me through um, a couple of brown shades, um, one of them called Bourbon, which I absolutely love. Um, it's got, like, I'll show you on here. It's sort of got um, sparkly brown bits in, which I really like. And then there's a matte brown one as well. So thank you for sending that through. Alrighty, let's start off with the Hydromaniac um, Tinted Glow Hydration. So it is a foundation. Um, I've actually got my notes here on it, uh, just to get a little bit more information. A long wear tinted glow foundation infused with kombucha fil uh, filtrate and marula oil and for up to 24 hour hydration coverage and fresh glow. So this claims that it's going to last for 24 hours. So, I mean, if I put it on now, I'm going to have to end up sleeping in it, which is not ideal. So what I'll do is I'll test it out this week and I'll put um, some comments in the box below and let you know if it did last, how it lasted on my skin basically. So this is shade 41, um, they just sent me a shade basically. Um, I am quite tanned at the moment as well, well a little bit tanned, I wouldn't say I'm loads tanned. Where, what you want to do, lovely spot there, is do a little swipe and make sure that it completely disappears. So, actually, not a bad match. It wasn't a good match a few weeks ago when I wasn't fake tanning. I'd probably say I could go about half a shade down or maybe even a whole shade down, but it's hard to tell because I haven't got the range in front of me. Um, let's do half of my face. I'm going to apply it with my fingers because I, um, I love applying foundation with my fingers. Um, you can go in with your beauty blender or buffing brush afterwards and then conceal it for under the eyes. But for the sake of today, let's go in with half the face. Applies really beautifully. Doesn't really smell of anything. And I can't see it on the skin, which is what's key. You do not want to be seeing your foundation on your skin. Number one number one rule um i'm wondering whether this is a comparison to any of the foundations out there i haven't really done the review yeah i'd probably say i'm a little bit too warm in this foundation 
because I'm feeling like I have to really pull it down but because we're coming into summer now it's kind of irrelevant because I'm going to get more of a more of a color so first impressions um first impressions let's just go in and I'm just going to buff it a little bit more okay guys I'm going to zoom you in a little bit there we go oh lovely my battery's flashing just when I've done half my face so that's half the face done lovely lovely glow to the skin to the complexion and it's just what it's doing is it's evening out my complexion it's taking down the redness that I have on this side and it's giving me a nice warm glow it feels very dewy probably needs to put a teeny bit of powder in the t-zone after this um but yeah I feel great so I'm going to go ahead and finish that off That's the foundation on. I'm just buffing out with my brush. Make sure there's no, that everything is completely seamlessly blended and make sure you pull it down past your neck as well. Um, and I'm gonna go in and conceal that little spot or bite or whatever it is, but it is gorgeous. It's giving me a really lovely glow and it's a pretty good colour for me. So I think the test for me really is to see how it wears through the day um, in a 24 hour period. And it's, it's quite hot today as well. So if I take it off at like 11 o'clock at night, I'll see sort of like how, how it's looking. Um, so there we go. And then we're, next we're gonna go in with the concealer. Um, this is shade 50, which I think could be a bit too dark for me. Um, let's have a little look. So it comes with a sponge applicator. Let's have a little look under the eyes. It's not bad. It's probably not my exact shade, but we're just, I'm just testing out at the moment. This is purely to see what the concealer is like. Now, 24 hour wear concealer can really cake under the eyes. Um, so you've got to be really careful how you apply it. So this is applying with no corrector under the eyes. I like to always use a corrector because it knocks back the discoloration that I always get. But we're not going to today. This is purely to test the product out. And then I'm guessing I'll just use this concealer around my face as well. Um, in any red areas. But so far so good it is not caking at all there we go it sits very nicely the test is going to be whether it's going to crease and whether it's going to last so that's the um foundation and under eye concealer and then I'm going to move in with the lipstick and the liner to show you as well. So I'm back from lunch. I had to take a bit of a break because my battery cut out which was really convenient in in the um, space of basically testing out this naked concealer. So I just wanted to read what it says on the back here. Buildable full coverage concealer. Flexible breathable does not transfer real skin matte finish. Corrects the look of imperfections. Waterproof very important for the summer guys um, and is a vegan formula it does not contain animal derived ingredients or by product so I have been sitting outside um, basically enjoying the sunshine whilst um, eating my lunch and makeup has stayed fine it's only been about an hour though um, but usually in that hour the makeup under my eyes can start creasing and I haven't found that with uh, this this concealer. I would say it's definitely like a little bit too dark for me because of this concealer. I like to go a shade lighter. And in fact, you know, the shade lighter is 30. So I'm not going to start mixing right now. This is purely to see how it sits on my skin and if it creases. Um, it's, it's a little bit on the heavier side, but only because it's a matte finish, which you kind of need... Um, in the summer months, obviously if you're, you're, you've got more of a mature complexion or if you're really dehydrated under your eyes, you're not gonna go for a matte, 
for coverage concealer because it's just going to look really crepey under your eyes. So, big fan of these two so far. Um, and I'm actually now really looking forward to taking this on holiday with me when I want a little bit more coverage. Um, and I think 41 is going to be perfect. So like I'd say it's a shade too dark for me right now. Let's zap this uh, spot away as well. I, I would say don't don't actually use the applicator to put it on the blemish like I just did then um, because of bacteria I was just on autopilot um, so let's I actually am intrigued to see without powdering or maybe I will powder how well this can this um, bite or whatever it is oh what a fly in the room um, stays away basically I mean this fly needs to go away alrighty so um, I can't compare it to the Weightless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hour wear. The only difference I believe is that you get, um, you get, with this one you get more of a glowy finish and with this one you get a more matte, yes here we go, you get real skin matte finish, M medium buildable coverage doesn't transfer, minimises the appearance of pores. So. If you're someone who suffers from pores um, and you're concerned about them, I'd say this is actually really good for it. But if you have oil, quite oily skin, then you may want to go in with um, with this one here because it's waterproof. Um, big fan, big fan of those foundations. I've tested it on the back of my hand. I haven't actually tried it on. Personally, I think for me, this this one could maybe a little bit heavy, but I suppose. If it's a really hot day, then I would go in with it because it's gonna help keep that shine at bay. Long lasting makeup spray. So, smooths the skin without drying. Um, and this is for that ultra matte, that ultra matte finish. Um, not normally what I would go for because I'm not a um, matte person, but let's pop it on. And let's see how it, um, how it helps. Oh, I didn't give it a shake. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Make sure you shake your, um, make sure you shake it before you apply it. I mean, I've been using Urban Decay setting sprays for years and I love the fact that there are so many different types of ones now. I'm especially excited for the vitamin C infused vegan formula. Alrighty, let's go in with the liners. So I've got makeup on my eyes obviously already. I'm gonna do the Bourbon liner, which is basically a brown, which has illuminating particles in. Um, like light reflecting particles. So if you see the difference between the two eyes now, let me just focus this. So it just gives me a little bit more definition. And once these set, they set. So you can apply it underneath, you can apply it on top, I probably wouldn't go in the eye because of the light reflecting particles in here, guys. Um, but you can go in with your blend, your sort of um, smudger brush and really smoke it out and get a really sexy smoky eye. And then you can go um, on your top line as well. I may just go, I'm just going to very, very lightly trace it. I don't really want anything too heavy. I just don't want a definite line and you know if I was going out then I'd for me personally I'd start smudging it a little bit with a brush I'd probably wing it out and give myself a really really nice flick um, but it goes on what you'll find when you pick up the Urban Decay liners is that they go on so smoothly like a little goes a long way so that's just a sort of definition at the top of my lashes and underneath my lower lashes and as i said they're 24 hour 24 hour wear as well guys um and you know i've been using these in my kit for like 10 years and there's a reason i still love them uh last products that i'm gonna show you guys before we call it a day is the local shine is the color it's the urban to gay vice high impact vegan lipstick so another vegan one for you all it's lightweight, intense shine, vibrant colour and full of coverage in a single swipe. Love that packaging. 
very very cute so love this packaging as well it's a pinky sort of shade if I show you on here that's the shade let's swipe it on the back of my hand so you can see it's a really really pretty really really pretty um, colour and the fact that I don't have um, any blushes from Urban Decay or bronzer um, or, and I don't have any highlighter on I'm just going to use this um, as my blusher just to keep um, just to keep on trends with the glossy skin although I'm not as glossy now because I've sprayed the <laughs> I've sprayed the um, setting spray but what's nice about using a lipstick that's got a little bit of sheen, is, sheen in is that you get an automatic gloss to your skin already um, which is so lovely. I mean, I usually apply Egyptian magic um, for that uh, extra gloss or paw paw, Dr. Paw Paw, but I don't actually need to with applying lipstick. So that's quite pretty, isn't it? And then we'll go on with the lips. So it's a pretty pinky tone. I'd say with my eyes right now, it's probably a little bit of a clash with what I've got going on there. I'd probably have to take the copper away and just keep it quite neutral. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty lipstick. I have to say for me personally, it's quite pink. Um, I think I prefer it on my cheeks. So I may leave it as a cheek stain instead. But as consistency goes and colour payoff goes, it's a really, really great it's a really, really, um, in even though it's in lightweight, it's quite an intense pigment. So, big fan. And love the fact that it's vegan as well. Thumbs up to Urban Decay. So that's my, that's my haul, guys. Um, let's see how we go. Um, I'm going to keep this on. What time is it now? It's 3 o'clock now. I'm going to keep this on until probably around 10.30, 11 o'clock. So, if I applied it at 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nine hours wear. I'm going to test from this foundation. I will comment in the description box um, how it's lasted on me as well, and if there are any areas that are um, getting quite shiny. I will probably put. Um, I'm going to go in anyway with a powder, just because it is hot outside, and I'm going to do the score run soon. So let's just go in with a little bit. Because I always set just a T-zone um, powder just to help. I'm not going to powder anywhere else. That's it. All done. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my Urban Decay um, haul. Um, this is a really, really, really newish product as well. So if you've got any questions, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Love to know what products that you love using. And also... If there are any looks you want me to do, then please ask. Um, you know, we're coming into summer now. There's, I'm sure there's lots, lots of top tips you guys want from me. Please comment below and I will do my best to help you along your way. Big kisses and I will see you really soon. Bye.